Dr. June Ruiz is the Programs and Advocacy Officer of the Augusto P. Sarmiento Cancer Institute of the Medical City. He is a Philippine and American board certified gastroenterologist and the lead for colon cancer screening at the Medical City. Heading the organization in educational patient awareness campaigns on colorectal cancer screening. As a patient advocate, he has represented TMC as the authority promoting colorectal cancer screening on several television and radio programs over the years. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Dr. June R. Ruiz. One success is driven by talent, hard work, and determination. As we all know, life can be full of surprises. It can be a roller coaster ride to your destination. This was the case of Barangay Ginebra San Miguel Star Point Guard, L.A. Tenorio. Luis Alfred Vasquez Tenorio, popularly known as L.A. Tenorio, exemplifies passion and love for the game of basketball. This opened the door for him to play in the Philippine Basketball Association, or the PBA, in 2006, which started a successful professional career that is now in its 17th year. He has been playing for the league's most popular team, Barangay Ginebra San Miguel, since 2012. He won the finals Most Valuable Player four times. He also won the MVP award in the 2012 Jones Cup Tournament, conquering the then top USA team. But then, his skyrocketing career was jolted by the biggest battle of his life. In March 2023, he was diagnosed with colon cancer, a deadly illness that would test his faith and his determination to fight. In this episode, let us listen to General L.A. Tenorio as he shares his story of his journey that started with the shock of the cancer diagnosis and then to the high of conquering cancer. Let us hear his lessons on courage and determination to beat this gigantic enemy that is colon cancer. Okay, now I'm ready for your questions. Go! <laughs> Doc, uh, tanong ko naman, how common is the colon cancer? So, colorectal cancer, basically you're combining colon, which is the large intestine, and the rectum, so we call it colorectal cancer. Colorectal. It's the third most common cancer in the Philippines. So, in 2020, around 17,000 Filipinos were diagnosed with colorectal cancer. And there were 9,000 Filipinos who died in 2020. Wow. So that's how common it is. And as far as cancer killer worldwide, it is the second cancer yeah. killer. Second. Mm. So doc, who are the people or persons at risk of colon cancer? So that's a very good question. So the risk factors, let's start with age. So if you're 45 to 50 years old, that's actually when the risk for colon cancer begins. So in your case, LA, you had the cancer really early. 38. Mm. 38. Oh, okay. Early. If you have a family history of colorectal cancer, you are actually two to three times at a higher risk okay. compared to a person without colon cancer. Also, bad lifestyle habits. If you're a smoker, you abuse yeah. alcohol. No. If you're obese, lack of health uh, exercises, which you don't have any of those. And if you have bad diet, so you eat a lot of saturated fat, you eat a lot of red meat and low fiber, those are risk factors for colon cancer. Ali, you have a question? Yes, Doc. Uh, for me, man, what are the, the symptoms of uh, colon cancer? Very good question. The thing is, if it's early colon cancer, so it's still early, like stage one, there may be, there may be no symptoms. So the symptoms may come, maybe it's already stage 2 or stage 3. Uh, but the common symptoms, actually number one is rectal bleeding. I think that's what you have. 
And then you could also have change, we call it change in bowel habits. So let's say it's either diarrhea or constipation. If you were having, let's say, normal yung bowel movements so before. And then you get constipated, like every two to three days, ka na lang nagbabawal movement. So that is an alarm symptom. If you have pain, you feel bloated, you start losing weight. So hindi ka nagpapapayat, pero pumapayat ka. And if you do blood tests, you have anemia. These are what we call alarm symptoms. Okay. So Jessica. if a person has an alarm symptom, so what's the next step? What should they do? So the next step is really to go to a doctor. And this doctor is what we call a gastroenterologist. So this is a doctor who treats mm -hmm. like the, the digestive system of our body. So because you need to be assessed for a colonoscopy. LA. So what is the screening? Okay, that's a very good concept. So when we talk about cancer screening, this is looking for cancer before the person has any symptoms. So if you have symptoms, ka na, like you have rectal bleeding, that's no longer screening. So that's why the mm. guidelines, natin, mm. if you're around 45 or 50 years old, whether you have symptoms or not, you need to be screened either with a colonoscopy or a stool test. So that's what we call screening. And the best screening test is a colonoscopy. colonoscopy. And the reason why, because you, know, you undergo a colonoscopy, and cancer usually comes from, we call it polyps. They're benign growths, para siyang mushroom, mushroom, cauliflower type na tumutubo sa colon natin. And if we do a colonoscopy, we see that we could actually remove the polyp. And the polyp is precancerous, right? So if you remove the polyp, which is precancerous, we prevent cancer. Mm. So I think, Doc, not everyone knows, no? but I think to give them that big picture can colon act cancer actually be cured that is another great question so it kind of depends on the stage so that's why when you do a test uh, like a colonoscopy we want to really even if we find cancer gusto natin makita at an early stage because that is the best time to have an effective cure so when you have surgery and it's like stage one, there's no lymph node involvement, surgery is already curative. But not for, let's say, stage two, stage three, or stage four, because you will need other forms of treatment other than surgery. Yeah, like chem. Mm -hmm. Like the chemotherapy. So, so we could say it is curative for like stage one, but it's still treatable, even if you have stage two, stage three, and stage four. So, why is colon cancer now affecting a lot of uh, you know, younger, younger, patients. younger patients now? Like, you, know, you had colon cancer at the age of 38 years old. I'm still young pala, no? Yes, yeah. you're still young. 38 years old. <laughs> 30, it's a basketball. 30, 30, 30. <laughs> That's 30, right. Yeah. Uh, Chadwick Boseman, he was a Black Panther mm -hmm. in the Marvel movies. He was diagnosed, I think, 39 years old. I think it was only stage 3 and he died at the age of 43. So kind of lived for a few more years, but he was also uh, undergoing chemotherapy and then he was also filming movies, right? So, uh, so over the last decade, there has been a note of uh, patients developing uh, colon cancer before the age of 45 or 50. That's why we call it early onset colon cancer because usually, uh, yung colon cancer kasi usually increases the risk around 50 years old. So, and then the, usually the, ano kasi, we don't really know what the uh, factors are because before, yung factors are if you have family history, right? Uh, if you have a syndrome that also predisposes you to colon cancer. But they found out that a lot of these patients don't even have the family history or the other risk factors. But some of them actually, they have really bad, healthy, uh, they have bad health li and lifestyle habits. So there was a thought that maybe this early onset colon cancer could be from lifestyle and not really genetic. But I think like in other patients like you, you still don't have the risk factor. So it's, there's still a lot of research that needs to be done.
This is our three-point shot in winning against colon cancer. Colon cancer is preventable. Colon, colon cancer, cancer is treatable. treatable. Colon, colon cancer, cancer is, is beatable. beatable. Again, this is Dr. June Ruiz signing off.